Okay, so let's have an example regarding electric flux density. So, uh, calculate electric flux density in vector in rectangular coordinates at point P, 2, negative 3 at 6. So, 2, negative 3 at 6, 2, negative 3. Siguro nandito siya sa point na to. So, this is point P. This is 2, negative 3 at 6. Produced by, uh, I think, 3 source yung binigay dito. No? Uh, the first one is the point charge. The second one is the line charge. And the third one is the surface charge. So, start muna tayo kay point charge. Si point charge na sa point Q. Negative 2, 3, negative 6. Negative 2, 3, tsaka negative 6. Negative 2, 3, negative 6. Siguro nandito siya sa... Ah, doon. nag estimate lang naman kasi tayo. So, nandito yung charge QA natin na mayroong 55 millicoulomb. So, this is point Q. Uh, negative 2, 3, tsaka negative 6. Okay. So, hinahanap yung uh, electric flux density no, uh, at point P. So, mag-drawing tayo ng arrow vector from uh, point Q papunta sa point So, hinahanap yung electric flux density. So, uh, formula natin for electric flux density is epsilon na times electric field intensity. And yung electric field intensity natin is tatlo. No? Uh, may point charge tayo. Uh, designate natin yung point charge as, point, uh, as uh, E sub Q. E sub Q is equals to Q over 4 pi epsilon not R squared. So, multiply natin. I think makakancel yung epsilon not dito. So, matitira na lang is... Uh, well, anyways, uh, ilagay ko na rin. 4 pi epsilon not R squared. So, makakancel si epsilon not. Magiging Q over 4 pi R squared na lang. Of course, uh, unit vector AR. Kasi... Uh, vector yung pinag-uusapan natin. Of course, kung scalar yan, hindi tatanggalin nyo lang yung AR. So, uh, kunin natin. So, for letter A, D is equals to Q over 4 pi R squared A sub R. So, uh, 55 millicoulomb divided by 4 pi yung uh, R natin is, of course, yung uh, distance from point Q to point P. So, point uh, P is point P natin to negative 3, 6 minus point Q, negative 2, 3, tsaka negative 6. Of course, magnitude nyan. So, 2 minus minus 2 is uh, 4, square root ng 4 squared, minus 3 minus minus 3 is, uh, well, tanggalin ko na yung uh, negative kasi may square naman, makawala din naman yung negative, so magiging uh, 6 squared, 6 minus minus 6 is uh, 12 squared. So, 16, 16, 36, 144, so 14 yung... Uh, distance natin. So, kunin natin yung uh, unit vector. Unit vector is, uh, ito na rin, no? 2 minus minus 2 is 4ax minus 3 minus minus 6 is minus uh, 6ay plus 12az divided by oops, na napalakay yung uh, oops, divided by 14. So, ito yung r natin, no? 14 squared well, actually, gawin ko ng cube kasi, may, kasi magtatimes pa tayo ng uh, unit vector AR. Uh, so, 4AX minus 6AY plus 12AZ. So, may 14 pa sa, sa baba. May 14 pa sa baba. So, gawin ko ng cube. Okay. So, ah... Uh, 
yun nga no, uh, ulitin ko pagka sa mga gantong problem no, electric field intensity, electric flux density, uh, itong uh, constant na to no. Well, actually lahat naman to constant, but uh, itong coefficient pala na to no, i-store nyo sa variable uh, sa kahit anong variable sa calculator no. Para hindi na kayo laging mag uh, multiply or not multiply no, para hindi niyo na laging ita-type no, halimbawa 55, uh, lalagay nyo kasi sa calculator, no? 55 millicoulomb divided by 45 divided by 14 cube, no? Itatimes nyo sa 4, di sa, lalabas yung sagot, no? And then after that, mawawala na naman yung 55 millicoulomb divided by 4 pi 14 cube, no? Iisa-isa nyo na naman itatype yun, isa kanyo itatimes na naman sa 6, isa kanyo na naman itatimes sa 12. So, para mapabilis kayo, no? Computin nyo muna tong 55 millicoulomb divided by 4 pi times 14 cube no and then i-store nyo sa kahit anong variable sa calculator no bahala na kayo no uh, and then after that yun na lang yung variable na yun yun na lang yung ita times nyo sa 4 sa negative 6 at sa 12 no para mapadali na kayo no lalo lalo na pagka yung exam or quiz or kung anong assessment yan no uh, mapadali sa makasave kayo ng time pala no? Okay, so uh, ganun yung technique, no? Uh, but anyways, kung gusto nyo naman ng mano-mano, wala namang problema, no? Tinuturo ko lang naman dito yung kung paano kayo mapapadali no? sa pagsusolve. Okay? So, uh, store natin to sa variable. Uh, body by 4 pi 14 uh, cube. Then, store natin to sa variable A. So, yung A, ita times ko lang sa 4. So, this is uh, 6.38 uh, times 10 to the negative 6 AX. Minus 9.57 times 10 to the negative 6 AY. And then, 1.91 times 10 to the negative 5 AZ. Well, uh, electric flux density, ang, for, ang uh, unit natin is coulomb per meter squared. Okay? So, ito yung sagot natin. Okay? Or, uh, gusto nyo, uh, gawin yung uh, microcoulomb lang. No? Since yung dalawang uh, component natin sa vector na to is naka times 10 to the negative 6 or naka micro. So, ito, gawin yung micro itong nasa huli, yung 1.91 times 10 to the negative 5. So, ang alternative uh, sagot natin dito, or al alternative final answer natin is 6.38 AX minus 9.57 AY plus yung decimal point na ito, no, i-move nyo ng isa pa right. No? And then, ito, dadagdagan nyo ng isa. Well, i-minus nyo pala ng isa kasi negative uh, kasi yung uh, exponent natin. So, magiging 1 point, uh, or sorry, So, 19.1 AZ micro na to. Micro coulomb per meter squared. Okay? So, di ba mas uh, mas uh, mas neat tingnan ba? Kasi wala nang nakatimes na exponent. Or nakatimes may nakatimes na times 10 to the negative something. Di ba? Or nakapower. So, mas, uh, I think, mas, mas prefer ko tong ganito eh. No? Nung college ako, laging uh, pinipili ko talagang maging mili, micro, pico, femto, or kung ano man. No? Kasi mas, uh, mas neat tingnan no? kaysa yung ganito. Mas, uh, mas magulo kasi tingnan yung naka-times, naka-times 10. Alright? So, ito yung sagot natin. Tingnan natin. Uh, I think may sagot naman dito. No? Yun, tama naman tayo. No? 6.38 minus 9.57 plus 19.14. 